Welcome back to the Dividend Diplomats YouTube channel. You got your boys here, Lanny and Bert, the Dividend Diplomats. Guys, today we are going to talk to you about our five big winners in 2024. We're going to cover five dividend stocks that are beating the S&P 500 this year and are all on fire and the, that are earning the title big winners to date in 2024. We talked a lot about losers, guys, but before we talk about the winner, smash that subscribe button, give us a nice thumbs up. Five big winners that, you know, Bert and I have seen in our portfolios, not calling any or all of them out right now, but we just wanted to highlight five stocks that have actually had a great 2024. Mm -hmm. Getting into some positive news yeah. here, guys, because obviously we've got the news of Intel. We got the news of Walgreens, the Paramount, the Warner Brothers Discovery video is all happening right now, selling the losers, selling these stocks. So let's get into stocks that we've owned, that the cream has risen to the top, macho man style here, guys. Yeah, but we got, you know, five big winners here. And, you know, they've all, you know, <laughs> kind of in, are, they definitely are interesting to say the yeah. least, because a couple of them you probably won't expect. Nope. And we'll go through and see who owns what each stock that we talk about. But Bert, yeah, hit them with nope. the first stock. And remember, no particular order here. All of these companies are beating the S and P five hundred year to date. S and P five hundred at the time. Of the year. <laughs> yeah, five thousand six hundred forty-eight forty at the time of this video, up nineteen point zero nine percent. Not bad S and P, not bad, baby. Yeah, get out of the way, man. Dividend stocks are back, baby. So remember, That's why I also buy VOO every day, mother effers. Yeah. So no order. We're not playing favorites here. These are just five companies, five dividend stocks that are beating the market this year. All right. Number one, International number one. Business Machines, ticker symbol I B M. IBM is riding the AI boom to prosperity right now. Never in a million years, Lanny. Entering 2024, would I have put a bet on, will IBM be above $200 per share? But that's exactly where we are. The odds had to be at least, what, 50 to 1 that IBM is going to cross 200. They are sitting at 200 to 13. They are up 25.16% year to date. Yeah, where was that on the DraftKings app this year, guys? Where will IBM fall this year? But yeah, Bird owns IBM. I own IBM. Bird owns a ton. I own a good chunk as well. But yeah, they're up 25% this year. They're still yielding over 3%, more than 2x what the S&P 500 yields. So man, they, they are up 40 bucks in share price this year alone. Bert, mm -hmm. you've been enjoying that IBM ride up? Yeah. Between my wife and I's portfolio, we have about 33 shares combined of IBM. So it's, it's getting nice here at 202. And so I said in our last video with Intel, this is one of those ones that I'm still considering and I'm still on the fence about of, do I take my money off the table with IBM? Mm. Is this the time to capture those gains for IBM while gains. they're going to gain season? So I would love everybody's perspective on that in the <laughs> comment section down there. So that was, that was IBM guys, again, on fire here, but let's get into a stock that Bert owns. I don't own this stock, but let's get into good old wild rattlesnake down in the state of Tejas. Yeah, I bought 27 shares of this company a couple of years ago when it was down, but it wasn't out clearly. We're talking Texas Instruments, ticker symbol T X N. See a theme here. Tech companies um, are on fire this year. Texas Insurance is the most boring of the semiconductor. And boring is great when it comes to the dividend investing world. They are up 26.63% year to date. That and their yield has now dropped to 2.40%. So Texas Instruments is trading at $214.34. They're like, hey, IBM, your 202 is great. Here's my 214 share price. Here's my double bird for TXN. Bird owns Texas Instruments. 
I do not, unfortunately. But hey, congrats to all the TXN shareholders that were buying them when they were beat down and back in what was it, 2022, 2021? I can't remember the era. Yeah, that's a no, it was more 2022, 2023. I'm pulling up the chart now. I'll zoom it out to the five years and I'll put a picture of it up here. It was in 20, end of, middle of 2022 was when they were below 150. That's when I started scooping some up. They dipped to that price here at the end of 2023. You bet it. If I if Texas Instruments ever drops back down at that mid 150, 160 range, I will be sprinting there. You will see me running a marathon to get more shares of I, uh, Texas he'll Instruments. Be sprinting, he'll be sprinting to buy that stock just like he ate a bowl of, a bowl of oatmeal and three cups of coffee. He'll be just sprinting. Speaking of coffee, wow. check out our dividend oh, diplomat swag Coffee store mug wow. today. Get check the DD mug. Yeah. Get the financial freedom with the DD every single morning. That's yeah. dividenddiplomatshop.com. No, but check the spread shop. Third stock, guys, is a stock that my wife owns in her portfolio. And it's a stock that I've been looking to exit um, at around the $24 per share mark. We're going to get into Nordstrom, ticker symbol JWN. Surprisingly, this stock is up to $22.34. There were talks about taking them private and you know I valued them around that 23, 24 a share. So we're getting so close to that. I missed this window of opportunity about a month or two ago to get out. Um, again, just not a huge fan of retail, but we still own it up 22.14%, up $4 year to date. Again, a stock that you never thought would actually have a resurgence here in 2024. I love it. Uh, I freaking love it. And it was funny, oh. funny about Nordstrom. Uh, I'll have to find the video where it was when you were talking about selling a stock and it was right before it popped into like, it was, you were on it the, was, cut it of like, selling. like it was what, $18, $19. You were like, I'm, we're just going to get rid of retail here very soon. You were that close. Thank goodness you didn't because you're sitting on some nice gains there and you're getting oh so close to that new adjusted price of 24. And I think it's funny that you on oh, three, three. It's funny that you mentioned another stock, you know, a stock that we almost sold at the time of the video, but I was saying I needed a pop. Another stock that I talked about exiting but didn't was NetApp. This is the fourth stock on the list. Ticker symbol is NTAP. And I'm very happy I have it because it is up against a small position in both my wife and my portfolio. But it is up a balmy, what, Bert, 40% this year. And actually, it's, it's come down quite a bit from the $135 highs. Yeah, it's on fire right now. NTAP is crushing it. And I can't – I when did you buy this stock? I remember you bought the, it was the funniest thing. Because I remember you told me, I'm like, who? Then you're like, no. Yeah, during I, the pandemic, during the pandemic, I bought NetApp because just the whole – Again, they're kind of in that, um, cl you know, cloud storage being mm -hmm. part of the computer infrastructure space. And I just felt like nobody considers these companies that are, you know, involved and integrated into companies, into personal lives as well. And I'm up, I know I'm up a couple hundred percent since I've owned them. Now, what did I do though? I bought like 250 bucks worth. So yeah. it's, it's not like I'm sitting on two hundred thousand dollars worth of NetApp over here. So gains a game though, and that's it, it was a win. No matter what the size, the win is a win. Number and five, number, round us out. Yeah, on this list, I actually don't own this one. My wife doesn't own this one. Is this in My your? Mom does. All right, that counts. We're gonna ring the bell here. Number five on our five dividend stocks that are beating the S and P. 500 in 2024 the most controversial stock is, is this it's in stock baby Lanny, would you say this is like the cm punk of dividend stocks oh it's the best in the world at what they do and what they do is pay and grow dividends bird yeah we're talking all tria ticker symbol m o they are up 29.32 percent in 2024, but they're still yielding 7.59%. So all trio. Oh, it's true. I didn't realize it. That shocked me. I didn't realize all trio group has popped so much this year. Kudos to them. Well, they popped a ton. I mean, partly because they were also kind of flat slash down quite a bit. Um, if you remember like the really oh, yeah. the tobacco era. Because if you look at 
Philip Morris, even they've had a hell of a 2024, mm -hmm. which we both own um, yeah. is up 29% this year. So mm -hmm. um, pretty much in par on par with all Tria guys, but that was our five that we wanted to just put out there. Five winners that have won 2024 so far through August, IBM, Texas Instruments, JWN Nordstrom, NetApp, and Tap, and Altria Group MO. How many of these do you guys own? Let us know in the comments, brother. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Video thumbs up. Check out that spread shop to get a Dividend Diplomats coffee mug and some swag. And Lanny, what else do we need to tell the Diplomaniacs out there? You're either with us or you're against us, Jack. That was Bert the Hurt and Lanny from the Dividend Diplomats over and out.